So today, I just really just want to sit down and talk to you guys. Or in reality, I'm just going to blabber about nonsense to a freaking camera for two hours. I've been wanting to do this ever since uh, I made my first video and I don't know why I'm just so scared to do this but now I just want to share this with you guys. I'm gonna start some series called Hugot Sessions because let's face it, so hugot lang ako magaling. In my hugot sessions, I'm going to talk about a lot of hugots like why you're not meant to be or being single or about your love life. But today, I want to talk about the friend zone. Now, if you do not know what the friend zone means, then you are one lucky guy slash girl. Please teach me your ways. And for those of you guys who are currently in the friend zone right now, I'm truly sorry. I hope you find your way out. According to the internet, friend zone means a situation in which a friendship exists between two people, one of whom was an unreciprocated romantic interest in the other. Let me explain this further. You're always together. You're always there for each other. Both of you like to spend time with each other all the time. You like the same things. You hold hands. He or she lets you hug him or her. You have late night calls or texts. You go on dates even though it's all in your head and it's the day because it's really not. You might even finish each other's sentences. You're there when he or she cries on your shoulder because some bastard just broke their heart. And then they say, you're so sweet. Why can't I find a guy or girl like you? You wanna know why? You know that space between girl space friend or boy space friend? That's why. It's the harsh truth. I mean, you're just going to be friends. It's simple. But it's heartbreaking. In your head, it might be that you're the cutest couple ever. Or in your wildest dreams, he or she's the one. You're perfect together and you can see what's wrong with you two being together. And every day, you hope and pray that he or she might feel the same way towards you. But it's just not like that. Let's face the truth here. They probably don't think the way you do. Except when they do. Take this from a girl who was in the friend zone for three years and who has been friend zoned by six guys. Yep, I've been in the friend zone for six times. And from my experiences, I just want to help some of you guys out there who are in the friend zone. I want to give you tips, advices. There are three things you can do if you're in the friend zone. Number one, escape by admitting your feelings, by confessing your feelings, by telling the truth. I mean, this is the most obvious solution to your problem, but it's also the hardest one. I have tried using this. Yeah, it did not go well. You're gonna risk it all just to get out of the friend zone, not knowing the other person feels the same way about you. Who knows, maybe he or she also feels the same way about you all this time, but you, you two were just so scared to tell each other that you like each other. Or, manhid ka at torpe siya. Or baliktad, manhid siya torpe ka. But the sad part of this is, what if they don't feel the same thing? The sad truth is, they just don't like you. Just not meant to be. And you're probably better off as friends. Most of the time when you confess your feelings to a friend, or a best friend, or a super mega ultra best friend, your friendship is usually dope. Don't talk anymore, just... <laughs> it's just awkward. Usually it's just awkward. But there are some who really cares about you 
and your friendship and they don't want to lose you they don't want to ruin your friendship even though it might be kind of awkward but no they don't want to lose you because they love you just not in the kind of way that you're hoping for but i do know some people who deeply care about their friendship they're still good friends they're just not together but they're still friends and i am still friends with some people who have put me in the friend zone number two escape the friend zone by moving on if you don't want to risk it all if you know in your heart and soul and deep inside of you you know that you don't have a chance at all the best thing you can do is just move on you can't wait for someone who's not meant for you what if mr or miss right is around the corner and you're waiting for someone who doesn't even feel the same way for you really the best thing you can do is just leave the friend and get out of it if you, if you feel tired of waiting if you can't take the pain of being with this person every day but there's no freaking way you can be more than friends and what are you doing there this is actually what i've been doing for six times in a row uh yeah i moved on from a person who friends owned me and then i liked someone who by the way is also a friend and i guess i just repeated the cycle of stupidity again and again and again promise me you will never do this Lastly, you do nothing, nothing at all. You don't want to risk it all because you're so afraid of what might happen, you're so afraid of the truth. And you don't want to move on because you really, really love this person that you don't want to let go of them. So instead, you do nothing, you say nothing. Instead, you just suffer from the pain every day and every minute when you're with this person even though you can never be any more than friends. It's just like friends and that's it. That's the highest you can get. You can never go past that level. It's just there. Being in the friend zone for years has taught me a lot of different things. And I guess the best advice I can give you is just forget the feelings you have for this person you like, for this friend you like. I mean, you don't want to ruin your friendship. And you don't want to be the friend of forever. And don't tell me no, not forever because. Meron. I was in the friend zone again and again and again, and I just realized that, wow, I'm stupid. So I told myself that you have to forget. For me, I cannot take the pain anymore of being in the friend zone, so I just forget forgot all my feelings for that person and as of now i actually don't have anyone who i like right now mostly because i am not in school right now i'm just satisfied with people who don't know i exist and that is it for this week's video hope you guys like this kind of video and we're just sitting here and talking to you guys and i think i will continue this in the good sessions it's nice letting all these feelings out write down in the comment section below your friend zone stories and how did you get out or what are you still doing in the friend zone and how many years are you in the friend zone and and if you have other tips and or advice on how to get out of the friend zone please share down in the comments below just your friend zone story and Go watch Janina's and Gian's videos and I will see you guys next week. Bye!